Hello fellow stampers. This is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with Amanda's InspirationStation.com. We are on day 13 of 14 days of sweet treats. Can you believe it? I, I can't because that's every day I'm bringing you a project for 14 days and we're on day 13 already. Crazy. I feel like time has just flown by. I thought that this process would go a little bit slower, but no, it hasn't. <laughs> so we are day 13 and I have a really cute project to show you. Now remember the first seven days of um, sweet treats, my 14 days of street, sweet treats was the sweet strawberry bundle. And the second um, seven days was the sweet ice cream. So I have something that we're gonna use today that involves the sweet ice cream stamp set that I just showed right here and the sweet um the ice cream corner designer series paper i love these colors i i just can't get enough of them so it is found on page 48 and 49 in your mini catalog the whole entire suite here and remember celebrations is going on until february 28th so you still have plenty of time to get your goodies all right let's get started so today I have another party favor for you. Yesterday we did a party favor um, that was a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. Today is a party favor that is a ice cream cone lip gloss holder. Um, this doesn't have to be a party favor per se. This could be a little gift for somebody, um, but this is adorable. I got these little ice cream cone lip glosses at Target in with the party section. So earlier this week, I did that popsicle slider box that had the little popsicle lip glosses in it. Well, these I got at Target as well. And what's cool is they have actually a little plastic hook on the back of them. So you really could tie a string around it. And you know, if you're giving it to a little girl, she could wear it around her neck. But we're actually going to place it right in there and give it as a little holder like this. Okay. All right. So let's get started. We are definitely going to need some punches today. Today we are going to need our one and one fourth circle punch. Sorry, I got to move some, move some stuff around. We're going to use the tag topper again that we used yesterday. We are also going to use the new oval um, double oil, oil, geez, Louise, double oval punch. Seriously, sometimes I get talking and I talk so fast. Things come out of my mouth that I don't know <laughs> why or where they come, why, but they do. Okay, so we're going to be using this because that's going to be the little front right there. And then, of course, these ice cream cones look different than the ice cream cone punch. But to me, they looked like the same ice cream cones that were on the designer series paper. So we're going to cut them out out of we're going to fussy cut and cut them out and then we have our white polka dot tool again and we're going to go ahead and get started so of course we need my favorite thing the simple score tool all right so you are going to need a piece of cardstock that measures two by 11. okay so it's two inches by 11. and we're going to score it at four we're going to score it at six we're gonna score it at seven and a half, and we're gonna score it at nine and a half, okay? Pretty simple, that's that's a pretty simple thing. You're just scoring it at four, six, seven and a half, nine and a half. Now this is gonna be your top here because what we're gonna do is we're going to get out our bone folder and fold those creases, okay? Because what we're going to end up doing is we're really going to end up just bringing this over like this so that we're kind of creating just a little open box right there, okay? But first, let's go ahead and punch our top here. So <clears throat> we'll punch our top. We'll place that all the way in our tag topper and punch that out, okay? And then we don't need that. So we have that. Now let's put our designer series paper. So you're gonna need two pieces of designer series paper. One for, um, here, I'm gonna, take the, I'm gonna take the gloss out for a second. 
So one for the back and then one for the back of behind the ovals. So this piece right here measures at one and um, seven eighths by three and one fourth. And this one here measures at one and three eighths by one and seven eighths. So we're going to want to place that in on the back. So we'll get out our stamp and seal here. And we're just going to place that right in the back like that. And then if we flip this like this, this is the, the front of the treat or the lip gloss holder. So this one here is where we're going to want our other little piece of designer series paper. So then when it comes up like this, we have it in the front and the back. Now we also need to put our circle here. So we're gonna get out our, and I have the wrong one. I grabbed one that is no longer. Um, actually, yes, I did. You know what we're gonna do? I'm so sorry. We need a, the one inch circle. You know what, I think I told you guys the wrong thing. It's the one and one fourth. Yep, okay. So I, I'm i gonna have to switch that out because I had pulled out the one and a half because Stampin' Ups um, has the one and a half inch circle punch that is current. Now the one and one fourth inch circle punch is no longer a current product and normally I never show ones that are not, but I'm pretty sure when I first made this, I did it too big and then it didn't fit these circles. So you are gonna need a one and one fourth circle. And we're just going to set that in the center here. We're gonna line it up and just kind of center it as best we can. And then we're gonna pop that circle out. Hmm, not bad, because the one and a half inch circle would make this so that it would go fall all the way. So you do need a one and one fourth. All right, so now we need to attach this back. I'm just gonna attach it with tear and tape. And we're gonna do a strip there and a strip there. All right. There we go. And then we're going to bring this forward and we're going to take the bottom of this and to the bottom corner here because that is basically what we're doing. There we go. Now we got our little ice cream holder. So we got both our little little lip glosses here. All right, so now we're gonna take our tooling and let's do that too while we're at it. And we're just going to take each end and bring them together. And then we're going to go in through the front here and out the back there, <coughs> leaving this so that I can take this ribbon and put it through the circle. And then we're just going to tie this up like this, pull this up like this. There we go. So it's not really a bow. Um, we're, we're not really creating a bow. There's that. All right, now let's do some fussy cutting because that's always fun, right? <laughs> Everybody loves to fussy cut. Um, these ice cream cones are not hard to fussy cut out. They really are not. But the shape of these ice cream cones were the perfect shape because they're the same shape as the lip glosses. So you see why I am making everybody fussy cut. Um, <laughs> I know that a lot of my Stampin' ladies generally do not like to fussy cut. Now, should we do the pink one or should we do the blue one? I kind of like the blue one. Every time I'm, I say, okay, we got to fussy cut something, they all go, ah. <laughs> some people like it, some people don't, and that is okay. Some people love making bows, and bows are generally not my thing to do. I always have to have a bow maker, or mine don't look very good. But hey. All right, so we're going to now put these on with a dimensional. All right, so let's let's do let's do the blue one like that and do the purple one up like this. There we go. All right, now we have um, a piece of old olive and a piece of basic white. That's what's going to go in the front here. So we need 
to punch out the scallop part in the old olive. And before we punch out this one, we need to stamp in Blackberry Bliss. I picked the um, Hope It's Sweet. So we're just gonna stamp that anywhere on my little scrap piece of basic white. And then we're going to place that in to do the circle, the oval here. I'm gonna center that. There we go. And now we are going to use a basic rhinestone. I've been kind of using them all week long. But before we do that, let's take our dimensionals and we're going to pop that up onto the scallop oval. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the back of the scallop oval. And we're going to place that right on the front here. This is a kind of a quick and simple, a little simple gift. And these come in a pack of like 10 or 12 of them. They're not very expensive. I think they were $5 for 10 or 12 of them. I didn't think that was that bad at all. I mean, and to think that the this cardstock that you started was two by 11. So you're getting two, four, six, eight, 10. You're getting five from one sheet of cardstock. So um, that's that's great too. You could really whip up a lot of these, especially if you have a little girl's birthday party. Um, how cute would these be? So cute. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and if you're watching me on my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to subscribe. Um, yes, my 14 days of sweet treats will be over. Um, tomorrow will be the last um, little project from that. But I do post at least one to two um, videos a week. <clears throat> and if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, um, minus the lip gloss, because that you'd have to go to Target for, um, you can go straight to amandasinspirationstation.com. You can use this hostess code right here. Don't forget about your celebration items. Um, if your order is over 150 though, do not use that hostess code because you will earn your own hostess rewards. All right, I will see you guys back tomorrow for the final day of 14 Days of Sweet Treats. Bye!